Hey, what's up everyone? How you all doing today? Welcome to another episode of As Far As The Eye. We're going to continue with our campaign with Chapter 3, The Shapeshifters. Help crack and soil two ambitious pupils to become experts. Learn how to gain experience and choose bonuses in the trade wheel and how to feed your pupils. Build, manage, improve and repair mobile buildings and discover proximity bonuses. Visit ancient remains. Crack and sign await only you to meet their destiny. Oh. Pupils are metamorphs by nature. As long as they can remember, animal instincts have followed them in all their tasks. Like the centre of an eye naturally dilating in the darkness, pupils' form shifts as if its body instinctively knows the best form to take for the task at hand. Every pupil has, from their first cycle, taken on the appearance of a red panda. All tribes need to harvest resources. Quickly enough, it's a reassuring and familiar form that shapes their day-to-day -day routine. Some silhouettes are much less habitual and are only worn by the elder pupils or the younger prodigies. Other forms are so rare that no one can say if they really exist. The elders say that these animals evolve, that they have seen them become rarer and rarer before disappearing, just as they see the birth of new animals. Young pupils often speak, by the fireside, of shapes with long horns as complex as an oak in winter. They also mention web-footed Batrachians able to breathe underwater. With shadow puppetry, they amuse themselves by showing off the shapes that fill their dreams. Crack has always been a teller of campfire legends. At each meet, the elders see Crack dancing around them, catching every last crumb of each story. Crack wants to become an engineer. Whenever the opportunity presents itself, Crack builds and builds. The status of expert is only achievable with experience. For now, despite having built a great many structures, Crack is still only a little bird. The little bird dreams of a day when it can become a toucan with a majestic beak. Sion, the other pupil of Crack's circle, has the same aspirations in another domain, to become an expert in fruit harvesting and learn the famous candy fruit recipe from the elders. This recipe makes a maker sublimate fruits into something much more nourishing. This is a circle filled with hope and ambition. Let's have a look on the map. This is where we are here. The tribe is here. We have already covered a lot of the distance to the eye, and in two halts they will have arrived. The lands behind them are already under the waves. Choose the halt or the next path to reveal the travel cost. Medium protected hole. Oh, that looks like it's very watery. It's a medium ancient forest hole. I think that looks a bit bad because we want to go towards the eye really, don't we? Um, Choose the hole or the next path to reveal the travel cost. Where should we go? Should we go back? I guess go. No, because that's, that's the walk. That's the waves, isn't it? Yeah, we can't go back. Right. The pupils will need a raft to take this path. Wood logs and a sail woven out of peat wool should do the trick. The river is long and they should also take along some pipkins to avoid starvation. There is the map to start. The caravan is here. The tribe already has a building, a pasture. This building allows for shearing and stocking peat wool. This wool can be used for making hangings, warm clothes or to insulate buildings. Start to complete the objective by signing Scion to Pepkin Harveston. Explore the Halt of Crack to try and find some wool. So let's find Scion. There we go. So Scion needs to do Pepkin Harveston. Halt needs to explore. Just go to there and it will discover those two, won't it? Even though Sion is housed in pepkins, the tribe's stock is running out. Pupils consume food each turn. When there is nothing left to eat, they lose health. When they no longer have any health points, they are called back to the Sai. You must therefore keep an eye on them and feed them. So I've now got to start keeping an eye on the pepkin count. Pepkins are very resilient fruits that can be found in every region. They are the basis of a good diet, and pupils eat six pepkins per day. 
Raw, pepkins are juicy, but not very nourishing. Just as Crack dreams of construction, Sion wishes to make sure everyone in the tribe has enough to eat. This is Sion's trade wheel. Click on it and see talents. Oh, blimey, look at this. Mental skill trees. This is a pupil's trade wheel. It represents all the forms a pupil can take. Every harvest cycle, build or production that a pupil performs will bring them experience points in the trade they practice. After gaining a certain amount of experience, they gain bonuses or talents that will make them better at that trade. These bonuses only apply while the pupil is working in that specific trade. The central wheel represents the base trades which later specialise into expert trades. Sion already has a lot of experience as a gatherer and already benefits from a few bonuses. Sion requires less food than crack for instance. Soon, Sion will be able to specialise as a fruit gatherer and take on a new appearance. Look at crack's talents by clicking on their name. So let's just have a quick look at Sion whilst we're here though. So we're getting a harvest bonus. I guess that's learning possibly. And minus one consumption of the pepkins. Cool. Right, crack is going down this way. Get extra movement points when on the way to constructing. Repairs twice as fast. And the buildings that crack makes has more HP. Crack has gained experience as a builder. Even at the center of the eye, some of the buildings are crack originals. Progress as a builder is gained by constructing new buildings. A pupil with experience in a trade will be more efficient than one with no experience thanks to their bonuses. Leave the menu and complete the objective. There we go. So I guess we just keep going for now. We've got to get cracked down here, exploring some more. Some peeps. These creatures are friendly and willingly let pupils unburden them of their wool. They hate rain and generally hide during a downpour. Let's just zoom out a bit here. So we're looking at this one here. This pasture is a mobile building. As far from the peeps and harvesting, their wool will take forever. Fortunately, it's a mobile building. It can be moved whenever you like with no additional cost. Click here to repack it. Yep. Crack's job to reinstall the building. Open Crack's construction menu. This is the packed building tab. Pasture. This hall is rather peaceful, but a lot of resource and many people provide wool. Crack wants to take advantage of this calm to build a new building that will be of use later on. Since the last halt, Sion has mentioned the need for this installation. Even though Sion has been harvesting without fail since the beginning of the halt, an evolution has not yet come. There's not much left to learn as a gatherer, and since the last halt, Sion has learnt nothing new. Despite thinking that there must be a way to improve and specialise, Sion lacks a place to truly find personal enrichment. The caravan can only let pupils gain experience in a base trade. Pupils who work from the caravan will stagnate and never evolve. To specialise, a pupil must work in a building linked to their desired trade. To specialise, Sion must work in a harvest hut rather than in the caravan. It's the only way a pupil can gain experience in a higher trade. Build a mobile harvest hut. Crack will be delighted to do so. Well, how about let's get this pasture done first, eh? took a few turns to make. Okay, so that's the pasture done. Now what else was it? We had to do a gathering hut or something, I think. Harvest hut, there we go. Sign people to a harvest hut and they will start harvesting. A harvest hut is the only way for a fruit gatherer to earn XP. Cool. Uh, let's go that one. It's going to be a bit cheaper. Um... Now we want to build. Why did the build menu go? Harvest hut. What am I doing wrong here? Got to build a mobile one? Yeah. yeah, we do have to build a mobile one. 
Maybe oh we gotta get resources beforehand, don't we? What a wally. What a wally. Um blah, 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 blah. get you gathering that. You're still gathering that. Okay. So we need 120 of a wool. And we need 120 wood as well. So I think we'll get Scion gathering wood now. Have you dumped off that bit you had on you? Return of resources. One more turn. There you go. Now Scion's help put them in. We just got to keep an eye on for Pepkin levels. Make sure it doesn't get too low because they're eating them. We also haven't explored this bit of the map yet. Okay, so we're starting to get a little lower on the pepkins. We're starting to get pretty low on the pepkins. Go back to the six pepkins left. Okay, we've got um we got all the um wood we need. So you can get some wood now, buddy. Uh get that as close to the caravan. That didn't take long. Wood. Get through these pepkins. Right, we've got enough wood now. We've got enough wool. Need to get some more pepkins. Okay, cool. We can now build. Right, what do we want? Crack, don't we? Harvest hut. I've actually got to build a mobile one. Hmm, I kind of don't want to put it on there. This is going to squish the pepkins. We can put it there, can't we? So we've already taken the wood off that one. Let's do that. Is that all built now then? It looks like that is built. So sign signs of a harvest hut. Crack and get some wood. Right, we're out of pepkins, so I hope we're going to gather some soon. Oh, look, we're getting really low on the health. Woohoo! More pepkins. Right, Sion has finally gained experience. Open the trade wheel. Sign is now fruit gatherer one. You can choose a new trade bonus. Gained experience is represented by blue gauge around the next bonus. When the gauge is filled, the pupil gains a level. Sign has gained the first level as a fruit gatherer. Choose one of the two bonuses. This choice is definitive. The bonus will only apply while Sign is in the form of a fruit gatherer. It's the first step towards expertise and the famous recipe for candied fruit. Pupil is an expert when they have maximum experience in a higher trade. They can choose one of the two permanent bonuses. These bonuses are special and apply permanently, no matter the pupil's current trade. Okay, so these bonuses... What ones? Two permanent... These bonuses are special and apply permanently, no matter their trade. But this one here says the bonus will only apply whilst they're in the form of a fruit gatherer. Okay, so we can get extra, I guess that's learning for harvest cycle. 
We want to do that. We want more pepkins. Yep, yeah, that's fine. We want more pepkins. Right, so our current goal, medium ancient forest hall. I guess we just have to gather more resources. So Simon is still getting the pepkins. Crack is still gathering resources. Brilliant. I don't know if I'm going to get the rest in a bit. Got enough wood now. Shall we get you gathering a little bit more of the pepkins? I'll tell you what we should do, actually. Where's, um, where's Crack? Still got unexplored land here. So we've discovered everything on this map now. Doing okay-ish for Pepkins. Let's grab a little bit more wool. Just start the 34 turns. Hmm. I don't get what this is because the halt is where we are. This isn't something that we can make. I don't think so, anyway. Saw no quarry mine pasture. Harvest out market. No. Nothing packed. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep them doing what they're doing at the moment. Gather some more resources to take with us. Ah, uh, the wool's gone. Okay. You can just get some more wood then. How about we get you harvest in there instead? Did that work? And you can harvest there instead, so it's a bit closer. It's not telling us we have to do anything else, so I'm just going to keep harvesting resources till we get close to the end here, I think. Gather everything we can. Okay, so that's those pepkins gone. Are you back over there. You're already doing that anyway. That's good. I'm starting to get close to the end now, I think. I'm going to wait until Crack comes back. Now, how did I pack up that packed stuff? Is it that thing that we packed away? No, how did we pack the um it's already stuff that's packed. I want to pack this up. Let's move there. Running out of turns. There you go, click on the pasture, repack, brilliant. Get you just going there. Get you going there. That 
that's fine. Cool. So they're both back at home. I think we're just gonna call it there. Um, blip, 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 blip. Move on to the next bit. Oh, those yummy pepkins. All right, all the zeros. Do we take them? Oh, blimey. Oh, what did that say? It said stuff about mobile buildings. Oh, well, I think I figured that out, so I'm bringing them with me. Yeah. This hall is an ancient forest biome. It's probably filled with ancient historic buildings. This is the last halt before the eye. The tribe is finally at the end of its long journey. We must cross a wide ravine using a zip line to reach the eye. It's not possible for just anyone, only an engineer can prepare a safe passage for the caravan. It's time for Crack's skills to shine. Become an engineer before the waters reach the tribe. Um, here we go, yeah. Fulfill the objective and get everyone safely to the eye before the waters come. Choose well where to place the caravan and deploy your mobile buildings to collect wool and feed your tribe with pepkins. If you construct buildings on adjacent hexes, they will gain a proximity bonus. Their yield will be increased. This bonus is represented by stakes and flags around the building. Okay, so if we put our market next to our gathering post, for example. I think was it get market? We shall see. We shall see. Um, hmm. So I got, okay, so there's pepkins here, pepkins here, pepkins here. Nothing else to discover down this direction. Should you maybe move that one? Oh, let's just disembark there, I think. Oh, I don't know. Let's, let, let's, let's make one little movement here. Just see what we can see. Cause this map's pretty large. So there's not much here apart from the pepkins. I might push on just a little bit. If I put it here, I can have the wood coming pretty close, the pepkin thing's pretty close. I think I'm gonna unpack here. Right, let's get crack. There's packed buildings. Harvest up. What else did we have? Let's just have a look. A pasture. Okay, that's for shearing wool. So get you building. And then Sion. You can move a little bit whilst Crack is building. Ooh. These are remains from ancient times. They are leftovers from previous cycles. Traces of the passage of an earlier tribe of pupils reclaimed by nature. Exploring remains can be dangerous or beneficial. You never know what you can find. Crack is fascinated by old buildings and wants to visit all of them. Crack is delighted at the idea of sharing the tribe's discoveries with all the other pupils once they reach the eye. To visit remains, assign the exploring pupil with a right click and choose explore. Exploring the remains will take one turn. Well, Crack is still building at the moment, so I'm going to leave him be. Keep pushing Sile on. Oh, there we go. Got some sheepy things. They're called peeps, I think. Not sheepy things. That's still being built. Um, yeah, let's go there first, and I've discovered these two. Aha! So Crack's finished building. Explore. Um, we're running out of pepkins, so I really want someone to keep exploring. But I can't. I've got to get her back harvesting pepkins. We've only got 12 left. None left. <gasps> you know what, mate? Um, 
You've got to get some pepkins as well, quick dude. Oh, they both died from hunger. Oh dear. Here we go guys, I'm gonna have another crack at this bit. When um when I failed that mission, it actually took us right at the beginning. So I've skipped that beginning uh the first halt we're on. Just, you don't wanna see it again, but I'm gonna have another crack at getting this one done. So we have to choose where to place the caravan, have a little explore. Now what I have done is I've made sure up here but I've got a bigger pile of pepkins with me. Um so we shouldn't have as many issues with that. I think we will still plonk us should we go there? Yeah, I think we're gonna go here. Just one one hex further down. And then we can get this harvest output just here, you see. Um, a mobile one. Need 40 more wool and 40 stone. Oh, shit. How about the market? Where was that? What does that need? Oh, it needs a rhinophilo. We haven't got any of them. So I don't know if we're going to be able to build. Uh, in fact, another harvest that can go down, can't it? Let's do that. Oh, so the crack's building. Let's get um, Cyan just doing a little bit of exploring. Got to remember to keep an eye on the pepkins. So here's the remains that we discovered earlier. Go. We've got some some peeps. Cool. Now I'm gonna send Sion back now. I think by the time she makes it back, there we go. The Gavin hut's all ready for her. Cool. So let's get her on that. Let's get you exploring that. I think we'd probably already died at this point last time, so we're already doing better. Crack spends the day reconstructing the sawmill that had collapsed into these remains. Ooh, transforms into a permanent sawmill. Wow, that's cool, isn't it? Brilliant. So I assume the sawmill is going to gather all the wood a lot easier, isn't it? Right, let's see if we can unpack the pasture. Get that building. this remains remains oh crack is now an engineer so the mobile buildings constructed by these people are more compact that's quite handy now i think we'll do that so we'll take up less space in our caravan when we pack it back up Get you harvesting some people. Objective. Okay, find and visit the three remains of the ancient forest. Okay, so I've got to find the other remains. Well, let's get crack just build collecting that one. Oh, Sun is now fruit gatherer level two. Let's do that one, consume even less. Alright, now Crack's dumped off that little bit of peak. Well, let's get him exploring a bit more. This is some... Oh, is that ribbons there? Oh, it is. Yeah, it's like an old mine or something. A new pupil has joined your tribe. Ooh. An unexpected earthquake surprised Sylv, tribe gatherer. The vagary destroyed all the buildings of their village and buried Sylv in rubble inside the remains where they thought they were safe. Speaking of, Sylv's sawmill must be somewhere in the hall in a terrible state. We've already found that. Sylv dreams of becoming a woodcutter and will be very useful when it comes to building the zip line. The tribe is now composed of three pupils. As such, there is one extra mouth to feed. 
If silence harvesting is insufficient, the harvest hut can be improved to make it more efficient. The first harvest hut improvement reduces the harvest cycle to two turns. Sign would be able to bring back petkins faster. This improvement costs resources, but will be permanent. Each building can be improved twice and gain two different bonuses. Okay, so we've got an unexpected encounter. encounter. By focusing their attention on the other remains, Crack makes mental contact with a nearby entity. There's someone stuck under a fallen beam in these remains. Crack goes looking for the trapped pupil and finds them in a large room. The rescuee is injured but is delighted to join your tribe. The pupil joins your tribe, they are hurt. Don't forget to heal them. Okay, well how do we heal them? Is that this one here? Sylvie? How do we heal Sylvie? Well, hopefully it will tell us at some point. Let's send Sylvie to the wood hut. Get crack down, going down here. I'll hopefully find that last ruins. Right, got to keep an eye on our pepkins as well. What can we do to the hut? Can we... So we need 140 of the people. We can upgrade our hut. Let's explore this last ruins. Muffled sobbing guides Crack's footsteps into this abandoned building. Though they make their way even further and seem to get ever closer, the corridors remain devoid of life. Unable to determine the source, Crack calls out. The sobbing ceases instantly, and a surprised voice resonates in their mind. Who are you? Your fellows have left me here for so long. They always leave me. You are no different. You want to leave me, don't you? Indeed, my voyage is not over. Stay. Longer. Just a bit longer. All mobile buildings are damaged. Oh dear. That is not good. Right, so, let's get you up gathery up. What was that? Repair? Ah. Repair our buildings. That one needs repairing as well, but lots of things. How are Pepkins? 148. We're doing okay. Sylvia is now woodcutter level 1. Cool. Yeah, let's get more. So, what's that? New pupil has joined your tribe. Yep, that's that one. Done the remains. Yep. That will get changed automatically. Cool. Alright, so to get to the eye, we need wool, ore, and wood. Where did we get the ore from? Was that a mine? Yeah, there we go, there's a hill there. It's for resources. Oh, okay, so you're not repairing because you haven't got any stone. Bug about then. Karen getting some wool. We need 200 of the wool. Do, however, have plenty of wood. Get a mine, can we? Yeah. It needs to be adjacent. I might let um Sion keep getting the rest of those pepkins first. Try and clear the area. That's all that wool done as well. He's automatically moving. Brilliant. There we go. Okay. So let's get on crack, get our mine built. Oh, we can't build it there anyway. Oh well. Um, we still got plenty of wood. So let's get some more wool for a minute. Pepkin count is going down a little bit. What did we need to upgrade this? Lots of wool. Oh, 
Oh, there's, there's lots of wool on the map. He's got nothing to do. Crack's got nothing to do. Let's get some more then, Crack. What I might do is um, assign you to the ore. Okay, that's because that pupil's assigned to it. Cool. And then crack can do the wall. Because when that wall's depleted, we're going to want to pack up and move the um, pasture down. So we need crack to do that, so we may as well switch these two over now. Still not doing too bad on the pepkins, actually. I think we're gaining more than we're losing. Than we're eating, rather. Do have to keep an eye on this, though. Our goal is to get to the eye. To be honest, I might have to um, stop for ore mining. Got plenty of it. Yeah, yeah let's start getting some more wool. And take forever, isn't it? To move it all, walk it all the way back. So these buildings can only be assigned to one um, pasture. Yeah, we've still got plenty of wood. Cool, so that means Crack's going to automatically do that. Wait till Silver's house did that last bit of ore. There we go. Get you back on here. One pupil's got nothing to do. Cool. Harvest. Do need a little bit more wood. Get Sylvie just grabbing another pile of wood or two. So we're starting to get a bit closer towards the end now. Oh, okay, we've got the wool we need now. Now we've got the wood. How much wood do we have there? Loads. We don't want to get it all though. How many turns have we got? 23. Okay. Then we'll do one more in the wall. Okay, so we need to... Oh, that's a permanent one, isn't it? That's a permanent one, so we can't pack it up. We can pack that one up, though. Now, I wonder if destroying is a good idea or not. I kind of like the idea of keeping it there, so... um, It's there for the next load of pupils to use. Right, we'll let Sylvia do one more run there. Dump off that wood. Dumped off. That's a permanent sawmill. So we've got 13 turns. Let's grab a little bit more of that wood. Okay, let's not get you run around anymore. Can we pack that up? Pack that up. That's not permanent. You there. You there. 11 turns. Okay, so all our pupils are back at the caravan. I think we've packed up everything we can pack up. These are all permanent structures. Be interesting now whether we get moaned at for, for leaving them behind or not. Uh, let's get rid of all of these. Okay, let's have a go. Let's see if we can get to the eye. Really gonna have to start getting our Tetris skills on soon, I think. Yeah, I thought they were more compact. 
Obviously not. Right, let's just check. We've got everything. Yep, we've got everything. Sure you want to leave? Yes, please. Hey, here we go. The journey was particularly difficult. Probably the hardest journey of their lives. But the tribe made it to the centre of the eye in extremis. Here, Sil was reunited with their old tribe, who had fought the side to have decided on Sil's destiny. The two tribes meet. Crack, no longer able to sit still, hurries to the centre of the group to declare their new prowess to any who will listen. Crack is now an engineer. Sion watches with a benevolent gaze. Quickly, a band of small pupils grab Sion by the hand and drag them to the crowd. The great meeting can commence. Wicked. So we're smashing through this campaign now. Obviously had a little bit of difficulties on this one, but that, that's how we learn, isn't it? You can't learn until you start making mistakes. So let us know what you thought about one, please. Leave us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Leaving us some comments would be great. Stay tuned for the next one. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.